good evening friends and thank you dr prasant kumar sir for kind words thank you dr jingan i think i have worked with both of them in very close association i am aware of their wisdom in the next 15 20 minutes i'll share my thoughts and pardon me if i share some emotions because i have lived with type 1 diabetes for more than 28 29 years so what am i going to discuss a basic introduction barriers diagnostic challenges management challenges the social issues puberty and what best we can do to overcome the challenges now tomohan was saying this is the global data the hard fact of type 1 is the life expectancy is less than 12 years than of general population but i think in india it is more than that 15 20 years the risk of cardiovascular event is 10 times than of general population and if you look at normal type 2 diabetes they are much more ahead of them india is the second largest country to have type 1 diabetes so type 1 is really a challenging task but there is a good thing about it and what is good thing we have learned in type 1 diabetes through dcct and the continuation of dcct that is edict trial and what was it it was probably the first trial in history of diabetes type 1 and type 2 that we could prove that good control not only arrest the progression of microvascular complication but it also reverses it back to normal so in this uh, the dcct had more than 30 years of follow up the microvascular complications are reversible long term benefits in microvascular event. even in macrovascular events the the coronary artery events i shared they are 10 times more prone this can be taken care of and what is important is initial control so newly detected type 1 diabetics we should offer over 100% and no change in cognitive function in intensive arm this is again a very interesting news that if we go for a good control then chances of hypoglycemia and eventually cognitive dysfunction but long term follow up says that cognitive dysfunction is not affected and the barriers it is tough to keep low hg ac below with without hypoglycemia so the golden rule is use this knowledge of metabolic memory and move ahead what are the principles of type 2 diabetes type 1 diabetes an effective management regime monitoring flexible with food and activity and we must remember that the young children need routine and rules young children need to develop autonomy that is again they are very times unpredictable you don't know when they will eat when they will cry when they will not eat and young children need to explore and experience and we train them how to take decisions the insulin management we can have either fixed dose mdi the multi dose is the one and only that i would say it is useful only if child is willing to take frequent injections pumps child must be willing to wear pumps so that is another issue i was talking about dcct trial but now with the invent of pump and better pumps and almost automated pumps it is possible to keep control maybe around 6 forever but who accepts pumps that is the the issue again the fixed dose i remember one of my old child who is doing very well and we put him on mdi and last week is he visited me with his uh, aunt aunt is a pharmacist in us and he is on mixtures and he is saying i am doing well so why should i shift and then we did cgm and all we, we saw number of fluctuation so but in last 20 years he has been conditioned to use mixtures so it took us almost more than a month time and the family or maternal aunt that to take out that thought that mixtures are best so that is the way this is a very useful for the management of useful picture look the management in our country starts from violent syringes to insulin pump insulin pen to multi dose insulin 
to variety of insulin to CGM and eventually to insulin pumps and from pumps again the level of pumps we have basic pumps available we have middle level pumps we have totally automatic level 680g pumps available so we have essentially so many things available but shifting from one level to other is a big issue and a big problem those who are using syringes and pen if you ask them to use can't you use pen then they will say i'm comfortable even if they are not because they are mentally attuned the monitoring is again a big issue i'll discuss if you talk of pump to many children i mean it is better to use pump now you can afford the very idea of putting into body it is it is so challenging to the brain of individual and to the brain of family so we are facing a lot of barriers because we are pushing pumps before we are finding it tough insulin treatment in children the effectiveness of insulin doses is determined by a review of glucose patterns observed from self monitoring of blood glucose or continuous glucose so what is important is until unless we know about glucose we cannot manage blood sugar because we have to follow the track insulin doses are adjusted often in children owing to growth and so growth and development and puberty all these things also matter combination of exogenous basal and bolus insulin delivery by injection and self monitoring of blood glucose four to six times daily is the most common practical means of so four to six times at least three times before each meal that will serve a world about monitoring i'll be little harsh because every type one diabetes knows but very few follow and the biggest reason is inertia it's all right my sugar is all right financial reasons may come later i mean the motivation is so less that to many of the children i am coming out with a ground level problem which we faced in day to day and what happens in monitoring taken for granted attitude about monitoring when you push people that you do it frequently they'll do it for a month or two then they'll get an idea then they'll reduce the frequency and then maybe they do it once or twice a week and they say that i come to know when my sugar goes up and down so taken for granted attitude that as if they can visualize their blood sugars diabetes is increasing in global epidemic one thing that i want to highlight is diabetes morbidity and mortality can be reduced by good glycemic control so this is one thing so whatever bad about diabetes is whatever the best thing of type 1 is it can be totally controlled i always say if it cannot be controlled fault is either of patients or doctors or both and in type 1 i'll say the fault also goes to community coming to diagnostic challenges emergency room most of the patients present with diabetic ketosis and how to diagnose what antibodies we have insulin auto antibodies gar antibodies cherry marker but it is not possible at many settings so one solution that i will say in any setup it is always nice to see for blood ketones which is easily glucometer device anybody can do it and you can take and preserve the sample of c peptide which will give you insulin reserve so this will be a reasonable management to to help type 1 diabetes coming to the diagnostic issues with a young or child walking in the clinic not so emergency not so serious and this red line prior to 1980 early nearly all children and young adults with type diabetes were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes today the proportions have changed the correctly identifying etiology and type is difficult and misclassification may occur up to 40 percent so that is very important so keep in your mind and finally and reasons for underlying misclassification multiple and include lack of awareness overwhelming majority of people if young it he or she will have type 1 only it's not and the typical clinical criteria such as bmi and metabolic syndrome can be a poor discriminator especially as rates of obesity in overall population is increasing so we can have very well have 
uh, type 1 diabetes with obesity even at the time of presentation. Challenges in interpretation of test. So now a routine patient has come. This is very interesting slide. Insulin autoantibodies are masked by antibodies induced by exogenous. If you have given exogenous insulin and become very hard to measure after 10 to 14 days, so IA is masked, while GAD and IE insulin antibodies 2A tend to persist longer but are rarely seen more than 5 years. So keep this in our mind before putting a diagnosis of type 1. Islet autoantibodies may be falsely positive as of an inspiration with type 2 as in non-diabetic patients. Only GAD and um, IA 2A are measured up to 20% of truly type 1 diabetic patients. So, lot of issues are there. And one solution I say, testing for at least two of autoantibodies at diagnosis is now considerable. And what are two antibodies? One is GAD and insulin antibodies to A. Now what happens after diagnosis? Diagnosis is then everything has happened. Families most of the time request for oral pills. In spite of all education, people are willing for pill. And what is the solution that came into my mind? If these children meet number of children having similar ailments, then they will realize that the treatment is not in the pill, treatment is in the insulin. The insulin prescription, by and large it is give, given by endocrinologists, diabetologists or specialists, but in the periphery and many hospitals, these people are not there. And I think the Banshee and entire team, we have done a good effort to sensitize entire country by number of meetings uh, by RSSJ task force. Arshana has done a good job. So I think not just all of us, in fact. Management challenges and compliance. The self-care is important in type 1 diabetes management. Medication compliance, self-monitoring of blood glucose, healthy eating, following optimal exercise. These are all things are very important. But what is important, a study has shown that only 30% of diabetics are compliant with all these things. Majority of them are not. There is amount of anxiety. So what is the solution? A full education program, until they're educated, we can't do. So we have a full education program on our SSDI website. So we should push our patients, we should educate ourselves. What are the factors affecting treatment? Starting from age, young age, unpredictable, adolescent, stubborn, and their condition to be stubborn. So the education duration also is very important. Gender, females in many parts of country are still neglected. The family background, family has a fixed notion until unless family understand, we cannot change the world. Peers in a school, they pass command. Embracing the technology until unless we, so we make them sensitized to technology. So all these things are very important in managing type 1 diabetes. Hypoglycemia again is a challenging situation and it is common. It is seen up to 50% of sometimes it has happened, sometimes other it's happened. And patients who experience frequent hypoglycemia episodes are anxious and worried and may limit the insulin uses. So that is another part. So appropriate education and use of technology. If you use CGM, empty, multi-dose, not four pricks, maybe four short insulin injections will help instead of three. Once you understand how your blood sugar behaves, then you can do it. So we need to preach and teach and sensitize our patients to see their blood sugars, whatever way, through continuous glucose monitoring or through glucometers, Insulin availability and storage is also a problem because now number of brands are available. So that is again a problem. But again, this can be sorted by local education and local modifications. How to store? Archana has done a good job. 
electricity is not there. So we have discussed, but at least they should know. And what happens? Suppose they have kept insulin in somewhere and they feel it is not working. And what they do, neither they take that insulin nor they purchase a new one. So this is a new thing that has happened to our experience. And we should say, even you feel insulin is not working appropriately, you should take it because it's not that insulin, if it's kept outside somewhere or at relatively high temperature, it will only the effectivity will be reduced, not that it will stop functioning. So there are many small, small things that we need to keep into our mind. Then psychological issues are, are also very important. More than 90% of patients on insulin have symptoms of anxiety and phobia. The Dawn survey unveiled that 33% of patients are feared of insulin injections. 20% have self-motivate themselves before every injection. Depression again is a common issue. These thoughts are anxiety. These thoughts were seen to increase. I mean, they, they were all much more. And the solution is very simple. Opening up by type when people, we need to give time or we should create a team with whom they can express and then you can communicate. And then a clinical psychology session. What I thought a group session, at least clinical psychologists are now not so readily available in mid-size and the peripheries. So at least a group session can be of great help and still those need those who need, you can go for an individual session. The sociocultural factors and lack of awareness of low literacy rates are also responsible for suboptimal management. Complications arising out of uncontrolled blood glucose is often neglected. In some population group, is treated by homegrown remedies. That is another part. They neem, karela, jamun, haldi, methi. They, they all keep adding all these things. Parents generally do not disclose the disease state to their child. We'll discuss this little later. Then nutrition is again the issue, and there are many families are not aware of it. Economic constraints are there. Government support is minimal or less. Uh, Sujao has come out with a nice initiative. It is it is executed in West Bengal. I pray and believe that I can also push and make some efforts in the state of Uttar Pradesh. And similarly, everybody should make. But again, the the problem, to my understanding, the financial problems are relatively lesser. The more important problem is, most important problem is that people are not aware. The appropriate education, that one prick or two prick will make them reach to hospital. Wow, what is happening in India? Because the bulk is type 2, so focus in on type 2. And what is observed in our country? This is Jyoti Dev's article. Thank you, Jyoti Dev, to help me. However, less than 0.5% often follow the management plan, whatever is given to them. The suitable dietary plan, again, is an issue. Exercise, again. Then school, child, tuition, coaching, all these things are there. And what is the very important thing, I think all of us, many a time type 1 patients are under biphasic mixtures, AM, PM. They are continued on, this is a very important once they have had hypoglycemia, they are continued on suboptimal dose of insulin, which does not cause hypoglycemia or diabetic ketosis, but also fails to maintain the blood glucose to accepted levels, resulting in gradual development of vascular complications of diabetes, which limits life, their life expectancy considerably. So on day-to-day -day basis, they are comfortable, but on not on long-term basis. So that's why monitoring, monitoring, and monitoring, and following the blood sugar based on monitoring. What are the corrective measures? Different in pl platforms. I think we have been making efforts. Comprehensive type 1 diabetes program algorithm that stresses on updated management, ideally followed, such as basal bolus therapy, insulin pumps. All these things, they should be briefed. But the problem is if you teach too much, people run away. So how to tackle that inertia? Then hypoglycemic episodes can be reduced by ensuring that patient clearly understand the hypoglycemic symptoms. Symptom, symptomatology is important, but long-time hypoglycemic awareness, that should also be told. 
how to actually again come into monitoring then parents of adolescent patient should be sensitized towards the mood changes and these patient must be susceptible to mood so that is a number of things that uh, there are solutions but we need to invest corrective measures because a very nice suggestion came that there should be a separate type of organizations they should be focused separately but again how can we enforce them to educate that is the thing coming in my mind issued by i mean there are many challenges testing we have shared growth family fm developmental task emotional development there is a lot is there and finally a world about social issues school and education i had a paper in spad and eventually we published that is schooling and education the behavior of teachers are differential the food choices again we need to have very intensive dialogue it should not be monologue we should ask patient tell patient and ask i think this is going to help and revealing diabetes to the society dr mohan was saying many patients are now started revealing but the problem is persisting social gatherings how comfortable are they if they are told that they have diabetes so people may come towards comments employment and jobs legally they are not considered inferior but at times i feel the discrimination is there relationship and marriage is is, is still a big issue one thing i would the one biggest solution is at least to the type 1 diabetes girls every girl should be independent and try to be smart and they should i believe should be better than a regular lady of the society and i appreciate dr jingan who is doing a commendable job on marriage but still i face this problem i would like him to comment about marriage issue as well so social issues are a lot many issues and if you look at the total span of diabetes because we are the people who have who been following for decades together when child comes this is family which is very important as child grows the family and the child and the patient both are very important and child further grows the family becomes shorter the patient becomes important so from child to adult to this journey is teaching 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 education 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 awareness 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 and taking care taking care and with this thanks a lot for your kind attention thank you